Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> and yes, I still have a horrible voice. <laughs> anyway, I thought I would share with you some products that I purchased at TJ Maxx, Target, and Walmart. Um, but I couldn't get Walmart to fit on my kiosk there. So I'm going to throw that in there. <clears throat> and actually, we're going to talk about Walmart first because I have some big honking products sitting here on my desk. And I'm going to talk about these products first. First of all, I picked up some cough drops from um, Equate in the cherry brand, cherry flavor. And I'm actually going to pop one of these in my mouth. I hope you don't mind, but I need it. And um, let me tell you a little bit why <clears throat> I am sick like I am. As you know, you know, we had a lot of floods going on here in Oklahoma. Well, the floodwaters have receded. So that's good news, but they have left behind a lot of stagnant, stinky water with a lot of dead fish in it. And it's very, I mean, it's horrible. The smell is horrible around here. Um, a lot of people are getting back into their homes to access the damage. And unfortunately, there's just a ton of mold going on right now, everywhere, all around us. I mean, Unfortunately, everywhere you go, there are people that sound just like me. It's, it's bad. So not only did these people get devastated by losing pretty much everything that they had, now they're dealing with the mold issues and uh, medical issues being caused from the mold. So I, I can't imagine, you know, the people that are having to get inside their homes and dealing with that. I'm not even that near any of it, and I'm, I'm having this to deal with it. And it's, it's from all of the standing water that is left. And the mosquitoes, the mosquitoes are horrible right now. Um, the cities, the towns are trying to spray for the mosquitoes, but it is so bad. But anyway, <clears throat> that's why I have the croup. Um, I went all winter, all spring, without anything. I mean, I supplied flu, colds from the grandbabies, pink eye, everything. You know, my husband, my daughter, my grandbabies all had it. Co-workers didn't get anything, and then this happens, and I get it. But anyway, also from Walmart, I did pick up the Equate brand of Epsom salts. I was out, definitely needed some more. I can definitely tell when I don't have my Epsom salts. I have arthritis in my hips, and um, when I don't have it, I can definitely tell. So I like to pick up just a plain kind of Epsom salt. And then from Dr. Teal's, I did get some of the more of the shea butter and almond oil. This is very hydrating, so I'm also getting, you know, soaking solution for my hip, plus some um, moisturization for my body. So I do like this, and I got a coconut one, a coconut oil one. So these are probably two of my favorite ones from Dr. Teal's. So I got some more of that. And that was all that I got from Walmart. So now we're going to move on to um, what I picked up at Target. I picked up some more of my toothpaste that I really like. This really helps tremendously with whitening your teeth. So if you're looking for a good toothpaste, that's going to help with um, getting your teeth very white. This will definitely do the trick. It's the Colgate Optic White, <clears throat> High Impact White. Ooh. And um, it's a... Um, two pack. It's already opened because I'm already using one of the um, I'm the only one here and I could have swore I just heard someone whistling. Okay, I know what it is. Behind this window here, there's a street and just catty cornered is a park. It's kids in the park. But anyway, here's what the tube looks like. So I really do like this. So I picked that up. I also got a deodorant 
and this is the Clinical Strength Invis Invisible Solid. And I got this because I'm going to be wearing some sleeves that are a little bit shorter than what I have on. And of course, then you're going to be start seeing a little bit of the underarm. And I don't want to have a whole big glob of um, deodorant showing, so I got the Invisible Solid. And I'm really liking it so far. It works pretty good. And then I picked up some more of the Up and Up brand of the exfoliating cotton rounds. So I had just finished this up. If you want to see my empties video, which should have, if everything went well and like it should have, it should have went up Tuesday. Hopefully it did. So anyway, I got some of those. Mm, I picked up a polishing cloth. Um, I have some silver jewelry that I need to clean, and I remember back in the day when I worked in the jewelry department at Walmart that we used these a lot, and so I just got one of these from Target to use to um, just do some spot treatment cleaning on those um, chains that I have. I haven't used it yet, so but I did get one of those. It was hard to find, though. I had to really hunt for it, but it was in where they keep the jewelry at, but it was um, on the bottom shelf, like way down low. It, like I said, it was hard to find. And then I picked up a pack of gum. This is Orbit. One of my favorite gums, the Sweet Mint, is the flavor. It's my favorite flavor, too. I always have a pack of this in my purse, so I had to get another backup because I'm almost out. And from Cody, I picked up the Airspun Powder. This is in the um, Translucent Extra Coverage. I had this, and then I tossed it out, thinking it was what was breaking my face out. But I really don't think it was, so I purchased it again, because I was really, really missing it. So I got it again. So I have it again. It's around like $5.97, around that price range, around $6. So not a bad price point and then <clears throat> I'm kind of looking for oh boy hang on let me let me um, try to get my face back <clears throat> okay I'm looking to um, start looking for some new body washes because I'm almost out of my Jason body wash. And so I heard about um, the Method brand. I've been hearing a lot about it. And so I wanted to try the Method body wash and they have the little travel size of it. So I got the one that's called Pure Peace body wash. And then on the back it has a coupon for the full size. So if I like it, then I can get the full size of it. But I thought that was a good way to try it to see if it's going to irritate my skin, especially my arms. I've talked about that a lot in my empties videos. And it has a... Left my readers over there again. Darn it. But anyway, I forgot what the scent of it is. Um, Penny, 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 and rose water is what it has in it. So, and it's a very subtle scent. So I'm thinking maybe it doesn't have a whole lot of fragrance in it. So I have high hopes for it. I haven't tried it yet. So anyway, and then the last thing that I got <clears throat> from Target. I'm sorry. I hope this is not annoying. It probably is. It, it is, isn't it? <laughs> Let me get a drink. The last thing that I picked up at Target is these um, Up and Up brand of the Lemon Scent dis Disinfecting Wipes. And the reason why I got these, these are going to go in my gym bag. Because I do go to the gym, part of our building that we have, that's our antique store, part of it is rented out. And the person that rented it put in a 24-7 gym. And I joined it and I go and work out three days a week. And when you go in, they usually provide some of these wipes and you're supposed to wipe down your equipment before you use it and after you use it. And, but sometimes they're out and you don't have anything to wipe it down with. 
which is disgusting. <laughs> so anyway, I thought, well, I'm going to get some of these just to put in my bag. That way, if they're out, then I have my own to use because I know there are a lot of people that go in there that don't wipe their equipment down, even if these are available because I've seen them because, and they think that I don't see them because usually I'm on the treadmill or I'm on the stair climber or I'm on the elliptical and those equipment, they face the wall and it's the guys when they come in, you know, all of the, um, the weight stuff is behind me and so they think that I don't see them because they're behind me but what they don't know is that I'm a mom and so I have eyes in the back of my head and I know that they don't wipe that stuff down and so I know if they're not wiping down their their weight stuff that they're not wiping down that power equipment either and I know that they use the power equipment because they I've seen them get on the treadmills and stuff too and it's disgusting so I want to make sure I have some wipes just in case they don't have any at the desk provided so I will definitely have some wipes to wipe down the equipment <laughs> at all times all times anyway and there's signs everywhere hanging up telling people wipe down the equipment before you use it and after you use it wipe down the equipment it's gross if you don't especially for other people that want to use the equipment ew <laughs> anyway so now on to TJ Maxx I have like three things and then we'll be done you'll be done listening to this horrible voice but anyway from Strivectin my daughter has gotten me onto Strivectin she has started using Strivectin and she has sworn by some of the Strivectin products. One being this one here. I'll talk about this one first. It's the Strivectin SD Intensive Concentrate for Stretch Marks and Wrinkles. Well, she's been using it for wrinkles on her face. She is 27 and she doesn't want to get wrinkles. And she was starting to see some frown lines up here on her forehead, you know, from doing this a lot. She's a teacher, so I'm sure she gets a lot of that going on while she's teaching. Plus, she has three children. So she wanted me to keep an eye out for it or any kind of sale because she had used up her sample that she had of it. And when she looked at the price at Ulta, it was like 80 bucks. And she's a very, very, very frugal shopper. I'm so proud of her for being so frugal. And she was like, there's no way I'm paying 80 bucks for a cream, ever. <laughs> so I found it at TJ Maxx for $19.99. So I got her one and I got me one because I'm like, I'm intrigued now. So anyway, and it's a pretty good size tube too for $19.99. But I would read you some of the claims if I could see. <laughs> Let me hold it way out here. Maybe I could see it then. Um, week two. You're supposed to see skin radiance and texture visibly improved. Week four, discoloration appears visibly faded. In week eight, firmness and elasticity appears improved. Wrinkles and stretch marks appear visibly diminished. I'm not going to use this on my stretch marks. I have stretch marks that have been there for 30 years. I think my son is 30. No, he's going to be 32 on his birthday. I had to count and add it. He's going to be 32. And I have some really horrible stretch marks that really, the only way to get rid of them, and it wouldn't even be all the way would be to have like a tummy tuck maybe even some skin grafting this is how bad it is I remember when they had to take me in for a c-section and before I went under I remember the surgery team talking about how bad my stretch marks were and that they had never seen anything like it in their entire lives and you know I was 18 at the time and 
I still remember them talking about it. And it was very hurtful. Anyway, so I'm very self-conscious about it, but they're there. There's not anything I can do about them. I mean, they're like this wide at some points across my lower belly, but it's not anything I do about it. So I, I wouldn't put that on there because I know there's not anything that can be done with that. But anyway, okay. Then I got an eye cream also, and this is the Strivectin SD Eye Concentrate for Wrinkles. And I have this in my bathroom. I don't have it actually with me. And I found this one on clearance for $12. But the other price for it was $16.99. I don't know what the regular price at Ulta was for it. Um, she bought one also, but she hadn't used the eye cream before. She was using one from Clarins that she really liked. But it was like $95. So, and she keeps wanting me to look for it at TJ Maxx, but I've never come across any Clarins products at TJ Maxx in my area, so I'm still keeping my eye out for it. And then the last product that I bought was another Laura Geller palette. I know. I need to start listening to my own advice and quit buying the Laura Geller eyeshadow palettes. It is what I have on my eyes. I don't like the way it turned out. It's very muddy looking, I do believe. Um, I had to use Fix Plus to even get it to show up, any of the eye colors to show up. Here's what it looks like. I like the blush, the blush, which is right here. <laughs> I like that. And I like the bronzer. But the eyeshadows themselves <clears throat> barely show up unless you use Fix Plus. I put this on at noon. It is now 5 o'clock, and they've already started to fade. And like I said, they kind of look muddy. They didn't blend in good. I just don't care for it other than these right here. And I've been using the blush quite a bit with other looks, other eyeshadow palettes. So I do like that. And it was um, $7.99, so it wasn't a bad price. I mean, that's what you would pay for a blush. Anyways, drugstore, so... But if you see it, if you're expecting a lot out of the eyeshadows, you're going to be disappointed. But if you see it and you like it just for the blush and for the bronzer, then you would be okay. But don't get it just because of the eyeshadows because you'll be disappointed. Womp womp. <laughs> so anyway, that is it for this haul video. I hope that you were able to understand what I was saying, and if not, I'm so sorry. I may re-record re it. I don't know. It just, I have so much other stuff that I need to record that it would put me behind if I save this for later. But anyway, thank you. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Bye.